Well, they're still fighting. Uh, we've been moving up the road from the capital, Juba, up towards Bor, which is still rebel-controlled. We've been with the government forces, and they've been bringing in huge numbers of reinforcements. We've seen probably a couple of thousand troops altogether come up on boats on the Nile, which is just close to where I am, uh, and also by truck up the road as well. Uh, they have tanks, they have big weapons, and we were coming up with the commanding general uh, when uh, the convoy came under attack. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of firing, a lot of uncertainty about what was going on. We've stopped at the moment, uh, some 20 kilometres, uh, 25 kilometres possibly south of the very centre of Bor. But this is considered to be the outskirts uh, of of that city. It, it's complicated because um, it isn't just a ragtag group of, of rebels, uh, of civilians with guns. Although there is an element of that, uh, it's actually um, a part of the army, a whole division of the uh, South Sudan army that split off and joined the rebel side and so you've got army fighting against army and they're both very well armed you might be able to see the rocket launchers the heavy machine guns behind me here those are the kinds of weapons that we've seen them using uh, as they move their way further up this road to, in an attempt to take Bor. they've been trying, trying for a few days now to take the city of Bor. they still haven't managed to get through they keep telling us today tomorrow it will happen but obviously the the fighting is very intense we've seen bodies on the road as we come out we've seen a couple of burnt out tanks there's some very heavy fighting being on here between two trained armies as well as these civilians of course who've been caught up in it. Of course the end game really is, is to find some sort of ceasefire that's why these uh, direct peace talks are, are taking place in Ethiopia. Is there a sense though, that the fight is on the ground whether some sort of deal is negotiated will listen to their leaders? Well, yes, I mean, they will listen to their leaders. I mean, this is a, 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 full, um, you know, a proper army that's here, and again, on the rebel side, perhaps a little looser in that sense. Um, but both have sent a mediation, um, negotiators, sorry, to the mediating group in Ethiopia to try and come to a peaceful solution. But at the same time, there's no ceasefire. Both groups on the ground are still fighting, both here and Bentui, which is further up in the north. Uh, that's another area that's held by the rebels. So I think until a ceasefire is actually agreed on and signed upon, then both both sides militarily are going to try and keep going so that when that ceasefire begins and negotiations start from there, um, they're in a stronger position.